It is the last day of the United States Sail Grand Prix. KTV's James Torres, live by the bay this morning with today's event that wraps up its third year of international competition. Good morning to you, James. Claudine, good morning to you. Now, we are live by the bay, although we're inside a warehouse. I promise you it's near the water here. We've got several different sailboats uh, behind us, all belonging to a number of different teams here. Today is the final race of not just the weekend, but of the season as well. With Sail GP, join me this morning, Miss Laura Muma. Thank you so much for waking up early with us and joining us here today. Uh, you know, San Francisco is the last stop of this 11-stop series. Why is San Francisco kind of the right fit for this kind of sport? I mean, we've been in San Francisco every year of the league, of which we're in our third season. It is just such an iconic sailing destination that challenges the sailors. I mean, the wind is always fantastic. It is such a technical, really cool place to sail. And I mean, you look at the backdrop, you look at the ability that we're able to be between the bridge and Alcatraz. I mean, it just, it, why not? I mean, this is 100% where we'd love to be. I know absolutely nothing about this sport. I think that's probably true for a lot of people who don't uh, traditionally follow this. But if you see any videos of these races, it's absolutely it's exciting. It's uh, adrenaline rushing. You know, what is it about this that gets so many people involved? I think that's really one of the neat things about SailGP is, one, we're bringing sailboat racing really close to shore. And regardless if you know anything about racing or sailing, there's so much action. We have nine teams that are racing on tight race courses that there's so many maneuvers. There's crashes. There's capsizes. I mean, there's action. So it's fun to watch. And ultimately, you're going to know who's going to win at the end of the race. We were talking earlier about kind of a neat dynamic to some of these teams. You're required to have, a, is it a six-person team with at least one woman on board? Exactly. SailGP is really dedicated to creating new opportunities and more opportunities for the top female athletes in the sport to be racing at the highest level. So every team has at least one female on board and then, you know, multiple on the team with that exactly intent. I mean, these females are amazing athletes and sailors. Let's give them the opportunities to be racing at the highest level. Right on. How's, uh, how's Team USA doing right now? This has been a year of growth and development for us. Um, <laughs> not good. <laughs> not as good as we all would like to be, but um, you know, Jimmy Spittle, who is a long time, you know, he's a legend and he's well known here in San Francisco back from America's Cup in 2013. Okay. I mean, he's really building a squad. So our goal is in uh, season four, which begins next month, to come out firing and uh, reclaim our titles. I mean, we're standing in front of the Spain tent here. You can see some of the crew guys uh, and women out here kind of working, getting some preparations done for the races that start a little later this afternoon. Admittedly, we were going to stand in front of the USA tent, but we couldn't figure out how to turn the lights on. So, <laughs> so we're, we're settling with Spain today. Yeah. <laughs> so the races will start a little later this afternoon. Laura, I want to thank you so much for joining us uh, uh, this morning today. Uh, as she mentioned, this is the third season, uh, third year of the event here happening in San Francisco. Today is the last day of those races. They'll kick off around 2 o'clock today. We're live this morning in San Francisco. I'm James Torres, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Thank you, James.